everybody. Welcome to the finale of the 2011 Emily Awards finale time. Finale time. Finale. Finale. Finale time. I was like, shut up. Makeup. <laughs> Cosmetics. Woo! Yay! <laughs> Overall supplies. <laughs> Sexy. And that's a scientific fact. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to the 2011 Emily Awards finale video. This is going to be such a fun video because this is a lot of those categories that many of you have been asking about, have been noticing in the comments section throughout my other videos. You know, are you going to share some favorites for skincare and nails and body products and hair and things like that? And so all that kind of thing, including some most valuable products, will be included in this video. And after this, I am still planning to do kind of a 2011 product fails or anti awards or I'm not quite sure what I'm going to call it but you'll know it when you see it I'm um, just products that did not work for me over the past year so let's get started first category here is best brushes and I've got a favorite that is definitely repeating for the third time here and I'm really happy because this shows like for the past three years that I've had this very same kit from Sigma the complete kit it has held up it's uh, survived multiple washings and so many uses on a daily basis and it's just I feel like the right collection of brushes just a great collection to have and I love it with this brush we use the powder brush everyday uh, powder, bronzer, things like that. Love this as a contour brush and I'll also sometimes use that for blood. Total must have here just kind of a flat uh, brush to pack on your eyeshadow. In super love this blending brush. Another super favorite is the pencil brush. This is just wonderful. I love using that to smudge products you know under my lower lash line and it's a great angle brush as well that you can use for some of your cream products. And I have the premium kit but I still feel like the complete kit is just um, the right brushes, you know, the brushes I will use and put to use daily. And for drugstore brushes, um, I've got to mention, again, this was one that I chose as a favorite last year. And anytime someone asks me and says, you know, I want brushes, but I want them from the drugstore, I always think about Eco Tools. It is the first thing that pops into my this mind. This also comes with a little brush holder, but I kind of keep these out handy in my brush container here so I can use them. But this is like the mineral brush kit and these are all so super soft. Oh, they feel so good. There's a great retractable brush uh, from Eco Tools that I've blogged about. They've got some adorable like little short uh, kabuki brushes now that have these kind of colorful designed handles on them. Um, the quality is just superior. What you doing, huh? For outstanding tool, talk about an underrated untalked about product from me. I mean, I don't think I ever really mention this. I truly use them every single day as I get ready. Tweezerman tweezers. I have this pair here. This is just kind of a classic set of tweezers here from Tweezerman. Um, these are light pink. I believe I got them from Sally Beauty Supply and I'm pretty sure there's some kind of policy where you can send these in to be sharpened for free. Not totally sure. I'm sure somebody can clarify that down in the comments section. I haven't even sharpened these and I just feel like they're perfect in that they meet exactly right there at the tip. You know, they are totally together. You can find any little bitty, you know, just starting to become a hair, hair, and pull it out, no problem. One of the first things I do after I moisturize, I go through and I pluck stray hairs, you know, it's just part of my routine. And these have been wonderful, never had to repurchase another pair of Tweezermans. These are the only ones I have, and I'll probably continue to have these for a real long time. <laughs> most innovative product. I gotta say I saw this one coming a mile away. It's the Mali Poreless Face Defender. This is that clear product that you can use with a sponge and I know I've shown this several times but I put the sponge in there and I twist. I make sure I'm getting some of this clear product and then 
I use this to mattify basically my face and I don't feel like it's overly like unnaturally matte. I would actually call it more of maybe like a satin finish but I feel like here I am at the end of the day. You know I have not touched up my makeup since doing the newscast and I just feel like this is kind of taking care of those slightly shiny areas. You're putting on something clear, something virtually undetectable on your skin but yet it changes the appearance of the skin and makes it look more refreshed whereas loading on more and more powder becomes more and more visible. Um, I've got to point out this product right here that has been sitting back behind me for many of my recent videos. I got this for Christmas. This is the Too Faced Sweet Dreams palette and it's just one of those things that becomes a part of your room or wherever you're storing your makeup because just stacking this away is no fun. This really looks like kind of a frame basically like a framed picture frame portrait and then when you open it up um, you know you've got all your eyeshadows you've got a great mirror it's still adorable you know every square inch of this product has been covered in some sort of illustration and then it's got that neat little pull out drawer and you've got your face products here I like that they didn't jam in some lip products or anything like that but they kept it all you know that powder consistency and then something else cool that Too Faced does with their packaging is they've got a little flap here that's holding down um, some cards that show suggested looks. For the award for what needs to go in your purse, um, with this whole finale actually I've been thinking about what things have possibly gone under the radar that are such must-haves I don't even hardly think about them. You know what I mean? Like the tweezers. I thought, you know, that is such a must-have of mine. If I didn't have that, like I'd be freaking out if I was traveling and forgot that. And another thing that kind of comes into that category are Q-tips. And um, this is actually a little Q-tip, actual Q-tip uh, case here and you can usually find this in with the travel stuff you know at your drugstore or wherever and it comes in this little tray and ta-da there's your q-tips and I was interviewed by the New York Times recently which is was an amazing thrilling honor but um, the topic was like makeup on the go what do you take with you truth is I don't take a lot of things with me like I'll take my lip product with me and a mirror but also I'll have q-tips always because it's not just about adding more makeup as you touch up but touching up can really mean taking away. I would definitely be going under my eye area taking care of any smudges there. You can also use these to kind of go around your lip line if you feel like you've got creasing in your concealer around your eye. I love using q-tips to actually blot that area right after I apply concealer and pick up excess product. Um, if you need to re-blend something, if you want to smoke out liner that started out you know more precise and then at the end of the day you want to smudge it some. There's just so many uses guys for a q-tip. And it's a simple thing, and it's a cheap thing. Oh, that's a sweet girl. Now we're getting into the most valuable products, MVPs. And I have an MVP for face, eyes, and lips. And so for face, um, after some consideration, I thought about what thing is just really changed my world this year. And it was the Laura Geller Real Deal Concealer. This is a lot of product and it only takes a teeny bit to make a difference on your face. If this was the only concealer I had, I'd be okay because I can use this for under eyes just as well as I can use it on my broken capillaries around my nose, around, um, you know, a sunspot, a zit, you name it. It really goes on and it really covers without having to layer on tons and tons. first time any most valuable product has repeated. It's the Wet n Wild Color Icon Shadow. And again, it's coming in a lot of forms these days. You know, you can get these fantastic $5 eight pan palettes and, you know, wonderful trios and things like this. Some colorful shades, some neutral shades. And something that those of us who've been using makeup for some time now can appreciate is how this brand and how drugstore makeup and drugstore eyeshadow as a whole has evolved. You know, we've got things now that we totally didn't come close to quality wise 10 years ago or more. So, I mean, I love the fact that you can go into your drugstore and you can find a palette here that might contain, you know, three or four MAC dupe eyeshadows that are going to go on just as rich as you please. And it's my hope that they just continue to build on this, you know, uh, don't change the formula, continue to give us more great colors, that kind of thing, because this is a loved product in the makeup community, not just by me, but for many of the rest of you as well. Oh my god. 
cupcake. You guys know I loved so many of my lip products in my last video, but I'm giving it to Revlon Lip Butters because um, of the multi-purpose function that they have. The fact that you put them on, they go on easy, they go on smooth, they look a little bit shiny, they're very packed with color. And the, the shade selection, I remember being really impressed with that when I saw my first display because normally sometimes these new product launches, it's like, okay, here are my five to choose from. But there was a nice spread of colors. I mean, I'm wearing one of these today. This is one of my favorites in Sweet Tart. Nice bright pink check that's there um, you got creme brulee as a kind of a lighter option red velvet a gorgeous kind of deep red so I think anybody looking to experiment with a new lip color can find a lip butter that's probably going to suit their needs and they just feel so good on the lips I really really love these things and I have built up quite a collection of them now so check out my full review if you want more on the lip butters skincare products and I'm just going to share three um, just kind of my top three skincare products that I love and I want to put out there first that with the Clarisonic. I got a Clarisonic for Christmas, a Clarisonic Mia 2. I want to say that I am loving it so far, but I think it's a little premature to do a review on it. I want to use it, you know, more than a month before I do anything with that review-wise. One thing I want to talk about here, one of my favorite products, and this was a favorite last year and ever since college, the Olay Daily Facials Cleansing Cloths. And the ones I have here happen to be generics because um, I had to purchase some and I, I couldn't get the Olay for some reason where I was at and so um, I got the reason why I like Olay is that they never irritate my eyes. But um, generally one side is a little more scrubby and exfoliating and one side is smoother takes off all my makeup. Even as I use my Clarisonic now, I use one of these to get the bulk of my makeup off and then in another step, I use the Clarisonic to kind of really get that scrubbing, exfoliating action going. You gotta make a point to take your makeup off and this will swipe off your lip product. It'll get all your eye makeup off, all your face makeup. It's also just convenience of not having to go use a washcloth or dirty one, somebody else's washcloth. They're phenomenal tra travel products for that purpose. In terms of a great exfoliating face scrub, I've come into a new world when I discovered this product because before I thought, oh, they have to be kind of a coarse, gritty, uncomfortable feeling. And then I tried the Philosophy Micro Delivery Wash and this is the finest little granules. I think um, I, I talked about this in a video before. This is almost gone. Um, but it's the teeniest granules and you can feel that it's getting some scrubbing action done on your face when you use it. But um, you're getting so much more of a concentration of little bitty grainy scrubbers, you know, get doing the scrubbing action as opposed to sometimes use a face scrub and it's like, okay, there are five little beads here floating around in this gel. What's that going to do? So this does a lot. Next, uh, great product discovery this year is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Glow Pads. Basically, this is a self tanning towelette for your face. It is by far the best self tanner for face I've ever used. Um, natural color. It does not look too much. It does not look like too little, which that's been the problem for me as I use these. And it's like, where did it go? Did I do anything? Did that tanner just put any color on my face? So this gives you the color. It also contains good for your skin in ingredients. Um, some things that are really giving you the, your freshest skin possible while also giving it that great glow. best body products. First thing is the Philosophy 3-in-1 Shower Gels. So these are, you know, those things that can be used as your, sh your shower gel, your bubble bath, or your shampoo. And they all smell just amazing. My shower is full of them, especially since Christmas when I got a bunch of them. Um, but one of my all-time favorite scents is actually the perfumed one in Inner Grace. And I've been like rationing this. This is really just down to here in my um, container here. And it smells so good. I love Inner Grace. It's one of my favorite philosophy scents. And then they have so many yummy food type scents. And during Christmas, and I'm not sure if you can get your hands on this other times of the year, but Sugar Sprinkles Funnel Cake. Um, I was telling the guys at work about these and how I have one that smells like eggnog and one that smells like funnel cake and they're like, what? Ew, you know? You don't walk around still really smelling like this stuff, but it's so amazing. 
in the body wash. I'm like, you guys don't understand. This smells delicious. Uh, another favorite, and this is repeating uh, from last year, and this is my Chic Intuition Razor. And I got to point out that I feel like the skin on my legs is practically more sensitive than the skin on my face. I mean, I get razor burn, ingrown hairs, all those kinds of things very easily on my legs. It's got this soap built around here. And basically, you don't even use a shaving gel or anything like that. You can just shave like this. These actually last a decently long time, too. The cartridges with the soap around them. It smells really good. I believe there were like four blades here on the razor. And I just... Finally, I found something where I can shave and I don't have irritation. This is the uh, Queen Helen, that's the same brand that makes, or Queen Helene, whatever you want to say, um, the same brand that makes the mint julep mask, the Cocoa Butter Cream. Okay, it comes in a little jar like this. Oh, it smells so good. And I, it's not really like totally normal cocoa butter scent. It just smells a little bit tropical. And I love layering other like body sprays and stuff on top of it once I put it on. But right after I get out of the shower to really seal in that moisture, I will use this, you know, on my elbows and just all over. And it really keeps the skin feeling soft and for an extended period of time, which is nice this time of year. Wiggle, butt wiggle, epic butt wiggle. <laughs> One of my favorite hair products. What in the world would I do without my favorite hairspray? Tresemme, tray two, uh, two time winner here. This is so good. I love this hairspray. I use it all the time. It's the only hairspray I use. Um, I use it when I'm styling my hair. If I'm gonna, you know, tease a little area, you know, I'll pull up some, give a little spritz of spray, tease it. I finish with this too. I've got one that I keep here at home. And I've got one that I always take with me to work every day. The number four extra hold is what I always get. I don't get the fine mist. Um, there's an ultra fine mist and I don't like it as well. I don't feel like it holds as well. So this is the one. Another kind of underrated, under the radar type thing is my um, Conair Pro Clips. And basically these are clips that you can use just like this fine young lady is using here. You can use them on your rollers and what they do is they keep you from getting that dent in your hair that rollers can sometimes cause. So I, for example, use the Remington heated clip rollers and those are great. They give you a really fast curl, but around my face and right up in here where, you know, the hair is really visible once you take them out on those top layers, um, I use these. The combs cross and they fit all the way around so you never end up getting that bump. No matter what kind of roller set you use, if you've been struggling, like getting it to look just right when you take them out, you might consider just picking up some of these. I think they're a real game changer for rollers. And my other hair favorite that I'm so glad I discovered this year is my Conair Bun Maker Make a Perfect Bun. Um, I've used this so much. I've been wearing it in a lot of videos. In case you haven't noticed, I had this on um, in my video the other day where I had this side bun. Even though it looked kind of messy, you know, on the outside of it, the basis of the bun was this donut thing, which I have demonstrated in a tutorial, but Basically, you put this on, put your hair in a ponytail, put this on, wrap your hair around it, and you've got a fuller bun. And it comes with these little hairpins that you can use to secure it. I know you can come up with these things elsewhere. You can buy them just individually at like Sally's, I think. But this little bun kit was the reason why I discovered this in the first place. So um, it's just great for updos or a low bun. You can do things a little bit tighter and sleeker if you want to, or you can keep it a little bit messy if you want. I'm gonna name some nail product favorites in this video. Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure. As you can see, a little bit wider brush. It just really applies the color easily, really smooth. Uh, helps prevent a lot of streaks. And I just think the quality of these is really nice. When I wear these, um, I don't end up with a bunch of chips or like premature chipping like the next day, like, ah, why am I chipped? Um, but some of my favorite shades are Raisin the Bar. This is a pretty kind of metallic rose color. Shrimply Divine, gorgeous, gorgeous pink. And also Commander in Chic, which is a really nice kind of grayish taupe color. So um, they've got a lot of great colors to choose from, but those are some of my favorites. I also love the Milani One Coat Glitters because they truly are one coat. I couldn't quite believe it. I remember when I first tried these, I was like, is it really going to be one coat? And it is. So like if you want pretty gold nails or 
uh, glittery red, that's great. And then my favorite shade, a shade that I just love so much and I think is so universal, wear it with anything, is the Sally Hansen Diamond Strength in Nude Shimmer. It's just shiny, beautifully metallic. I wouldn't go as far as to call it rose gold, but it, it just has a nice little bit of warmth there. So thank you so much for watching and sticking with me through this ultra long series that I, that is the Emily Awards. Um, I will be having, again, that uh, kind of anti-awards video or the failed products, things like that, coming up soon, so keep an eye out for that. Um, I think it's so fun to have found a, a gigantic community of people that gets excited about makeup just like I do, so um, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.